Now let's see the SR latch implementation using cross coupled NAND gates. As you can see, this is a circuit with active low input. That means that if I wanted to set the circuit to 1, that is if I wanted to make Q is equal to 1, my S should be 0, that is active low input. And suppose if I wanted to reset the circuit, that is if I wanted to say Q is equal to 0, then I have to say R is equal to 0. Okay, so let's see how this circuit works. Let's assume that Q is 1 initially and therefore Q is uh, 0 and Q bar is 0. Now let's try to reset the circuit. Since the circuit is set to 1, now let's try to reset the circuit. That means that I have to say R is equal to 0 and S is equal to 1. So in that case, this line is 1 and this 1 will come here. This 0 will go here and we have a 0 here. So this NAND gate, it is 1 and 0 is 0, not of 0 is 1 and that 1 is going to come here. And this 1 and 0 together is going to produce the AND of 1 and 0 is 0, not of 0 is going to be 1. So this Q bar is going to change from 0 to 1 and therefore the input at this uh, point is 1 and therefore 1 and 1 is 1 not of 1 is going to be 0. So this Q will become 0 that will come here and Q 0 and 0 is 0 not of 0 is 1 and the output of the circuit will now stabilize. So you can see that we have reset the circuit when we have R is equal to 0. Now suppose if we change R from 0 to 1, now instead of 0, we are supplying 1. Now what happens? This input becomes 1. So 1 and 0 is 0. 0, not of 0 is going to be 1. This one is supplied here. And this input is already 1. So 1 and 1 is 1, not of 1 is going to be 0 and you can see that the state of the circuit is retained. I am not changing anything in the output. That means that the circuit, circuit is able to retain the information and the input to retain the information is therefore 1 and 1. Now suppose if we change S to 0. That means that I am trying to set the circuit. That means that Q should become 1 and Q bar should become 0. Let's see. Now this 0 will come here. Okay. And 1, this 1 and 0 is 0, not of 0 is going to be 1. And that 1 is going to come here. 1 and 1 is 1 not of 1 is going to be 0 and this 0 is going to come here so 0 and 0 is 0 not of 0 is going to be 1 and 1 and 1 is 1 not of 1 is 0 so the output has stabilized and we have set the circuit to 1 by setting the input S is equal to 0. So if we remove the input now, that is since it is active low input, suppose if I, when I say we remove, S yes becomes 1. Since this 1 and 1 is the combination of inputs to retain the information, we can see that this information will not be changed. Let's work, work that out. This 1 comes here and the input here is 0. 
so 1 and 0 is 0 not of 0 is 1 that 1 comes here 1 and 1 is 1 not of 1 is 0 the 0 is here so the output of the circuit do not change even after you remove the input and for this circuit the combination of inputs 0 0 is forbidden let us see why when the input S is 0 and R is 0 we get a 0 here we get a 0 here and this 1 comes here this 0 goes here 0 and 0 is 0 not of 0 is 1 this one comes here 1 and 0 is 0 not of 0 is going to be 1 here when you get a 1 here 1 and 0 is 0 not of 0 is 1 you can see that both q and q bar becomes 1 which is not acceptable because q and q bar are complement to each other and therefore supplying 0 and 0 as input for SR latch implemented with cross coupled NAND gate is forbidden.